what I'm saying is, if that took place before Infinity War, like we say it does, mm -hmm. he could have went. Why? What are you why doing? Why are you not helping you, the Avengers? Why are you not helping the Avengers now? <laughs> You're off house arrest, bro. You could be there with them. Yeah. Joe, welcome to Jody's Corner. We got that spoiler film review for Ant Man and the Wasp. Welcome back to the channel, man. I'm Jody Joe, repping that Superman status. Welcome. That's my man, GA. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Green Arrow, aka Green Ranger. What's popping with y'all tonight? And to his right, the Savage One. What up, y'all? It's your boy Savage Jackson, the one and only icon. And Savage Three Sixteen says, "Fuck them goddamn kids." F the kids. F the kids. F the kids. <laughs> All right. Speaking of the kids, Ant Man and the Wasp. Let's talk spoilers. Oh yeah. Uh, this film made, didn't make a lot of sense to me at all. No. No. Uh, let's go ahead and go straight to the after credit scene. Okay. Uh, shoo, here we go. After credit scene. Boom. We see a, a broken, a, a miniature gateway into the quantum realm yep. yep which took a few months yep you would think it takes weeks months to years. make years maybe to make <laughs> yeah they have it in the back of this van mm -hmm. and he gets stuck into the quantum realm because something happens yep yeah. Thanos snapped his fingers at that moment and then we lose wasp wasp and that man <laughs> <laughs> that was tight <laughs> So we basically lose. Uh, uh, we lose Hank Pym. Yeah, we the lose whole his family. Wife, oh, the Hank's family. And and uh, we we lose the what's three her, good ones. What's her name? She has a cute name. Uh, uh, Hope. 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 Yeah. Yeah, we lose Hope. the three good ones. We lose the the real Ant Man, the original Ant Man, Hank Pym. Right. 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 We lose uh, the first the first Wasp yeah. who was just introduced to us, and then we lose the Wasp that we lose Evangeline Lilly. They turn so, to dust. Yeah. So let me tell you how. I want to reiterate that Infinity War was an awful film for tying in the MCU and it represents a lot of the elements that BBS did. I honestly believe that Infinity War is the BBS of the MCU and more and more stuff that comes out makes that more and more true. And using this as an example is, how was it that they disappeared when it took weeks if not months to make that? But in this film, they said in Infinity War, they said, where's Hank? Oh, he's on house arrest. Yeah. Yep. Sure did. So in Infinity War, they mentioned that he was on house arrest. That Scott Lane was on house arrest. He made a deal with the with the. They say he made a deal with the FBI. Right. And the events of Infinity kid. War took yeah. maybe a couple of days, yeah. maybe one day. Yeah. And the figure snapped. So if he's on house arrest and the figure snapped, how is it that in Ant Man, weeks after house arrest, yeah, it's over. That they disappear then. And see how that timing is way off. But see, it's, it, it's way off. <laughs> but I go ahead. But I see this. I I look at it like this uh, because when the cop was explaining what was happening to 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 the daughter. He says, "Look, basically what it boils down to, he's on house arrest for two years, and then he has probation. He's going to be on probation for another three, three years. Back. Yeah. Now he's not on house arrest anymore, but he's on probation. They should have got that shit right. So somebody wasn't paying attention and fucked that shit up. I guess he could be on probation. Yeah, That's he's fine. On, yeah, he's on probation. Yeah, but, fine. You could be out there on probation. But here's the thing for me. If he's really on probation, it's the same rules that still apply. You just can't go out of your house. You shouldn't be fucking with Hank Pym. You shouldn't be fucking with Janet Van Dyne. They should True. still be tracking. They just, you shouldn't have no yeah. contact but with him. They won't be tracking him. The Sokovia Accords is in effect. Yeah. yeah. Still. So, so he, still. He's not even supposed to be allowed with technology. They said no technology. Yeah, Sokovia is crazy. Yeah, so yeah, we, we but, know all that. Yeah, so, you know. My problem is the timing. And I agree with it's you. It's the timing. The timing. Because I, because when you, because when it put it out, I was like, wait, what? Because <laughs> if we're going by the correct timing, he should have disappeared while the film was still going. Yep. Or even before the film. While he was on house arrest. Well, because I, here's the, the thing with me. I, the reason I give that a pass is because I knew that Ant-Man and the Wasp predated Infinity War. So I knew that they didn't happen at the same time. I knew that Ant-Man and the Wasp was set before Infinity War going in. But even with that, yeah, even with that, 
even with that caveat, because if that even if, if they would have did it where it took place at the same time, then the events of Infinity War have to stretch out. That's the problem. What I'm saying is, if that took place before Infinity War, like we say it does, mm -hmm. he could have went. Why? What are you why doing? Why are you not helping you, the Avengers? Why are you not helping the Avengers now? <laughs> You're off house arrest, bro. You could be there with them. Yeah. You're not, not on house arrest. The hole. <laughs> Huge plot hole within the continuity of the MCU. This just lets me know, and I've been saying this. Kevin Feige didn't. He, He's playing this as he goes now. I, I, it, it, it showed his cards from Ragnarok when he fired and he made the dark uh, Ragnarok into, into a light-hearted light one. Bullshit. And you got Taika Waititi to go off script, off cue, and make changes. And that's what started a lot of the inconsistencies. Guardians of the Galaxy was pretty much tight-knit. Yeah. Volume 2. Yeah. After Volume 2, this MCU thing, it, it, especially after we've seen Black Panther, Black Panther and Infinity War is way different from Black Panther in, in, exactly. in his own yeah. film. Yeah. It just goes to show you that Kevin was like, oh, let's see what Black Panther does. I don't think he's going to do that good, but let's slot him in. Oh, let's see what's up with Ant-Man, but let's mention the house arrest. But even the film that came out didn't even back up Kevin Feige's statements within the, Infinity, the Russo brothers, how they said he was on house arrest. Yeah. Nope. Because clearly he wasn't on house arrest when Thanos was there. Nope. He was off of house arrest. We just so seen it in the movie. Yeah. Yeah. He was on house arrest for maybe a few months. Because we know that they built that small particle, that small chamber in the back of that van. They didn't, they didn't do that overnight. Yeah, because he had three months. He had three months of house arrest. He had three months of house arrest. He was already had. They kept telling him, "Yeah, three more three months." Days. Three, oh, three days. He had three days. It was only three days left. He was on house arrest for two years, and exactly when he started. He had three he days. Only left. had three days left. Those three days passed. He got off house arrest, and here we are with a new machine inside that van, which probably took months. months. Weeks. Let's look at the this, weeks. Look well, at the tiny machine that, 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 well, that, that, that we saw already before. It, it was like a they small made, one. Yeah, like they, they, they made a new They one. miniaturized it. Yeah. But here's the thing. It, it could have took months. It could have also took years because they made it smaller. That's what now, I'm here, saying. And here's the, well, let's say it took because weeks. Because the first one, the first one, you know the first one took years because it, I believe, I believe when he was talking to... I believe that whole two year span is what he was yeah, doing building that house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When he was talking to, talking to Hope at the beginning of the movie, yeah. that has to be set directly after Ant-Man 1. Exactly. Because the, his thoughts were, he was in the, he was in the, in the realm. Yep. He was in the quantum realm. Which we thought there was no coming back from, but he came back. Right. So that, it had to take place right then. Right. She even said, what we've been doing this whole time is we've been building this. I've been building this. You see his ants working overtime, building that shit. And now you've built a miniature one, a more sophisticated one that can fit in the back of a van. I'm assuming, let's assume it took you three months to build that. That timing is still off. Cause in those three months, you could have been in more friggin' over there helping a minute. It doesn't match up with Infinity War. You mean to tell me, you mean to tell me that nobody knows that you, that you're off house arrest? Man, that Ant Man, Giant Man, isn't on house arrest anymore. So it nobody, like, Tony Stark doesn't know that. So that means knows. in the Ant Man yeah, film, hit him up to find out. So hey, in the Ant Man it. film, why wasn't that all over the news? That's crazy. Why isn't Thanos? Why didn't you put Thanos? And the Black Order in the anime movie on television screens yeah. or something. At least to say, oh God, they need me. No, we have to do this, Scott. We have to do this. I need to save my wife. But my friends that's need more me. Important. That's what got you in <laughs> that's what got you in house arrest in the yeah. first place. Get your shit together. It's the only I only have a two-hour window to save my wife. All right. Uh, All right. <laughs> no! The whole world didn't even know in I his world. It was like two different movies, yeah. two different universes. Yeah. Even still, even if you go that route, right? And even if you say you, you do the entire movie, right? And the end of the movie, what if the end of the movie is, I'm talking about the after credit scenes now. But if the after credit scene is them watching and seeing the arrival of Thanos and his minions on the fucking news or some shit. Right. Like, he had to be aware that Thanos was around because Honestly, the nigga is attacking. Yeah. Like, the nigga was attacking New York. That shit is on film. It, it came was out, everywhere. not even that though. It was, it was a, a worldwide thing. You yeah. had the big ass donut in the sky. So it was a worldwide thing. Exactly. It, was, it was huge. So, how does nigga not know? So, let's talk about why we believe Ant Man didn't himself turn into non existent dust. Because he was in non existence itself. Yeah. Be I believe because he was in the quantum realm, he was outside of it, existence and time. So I believe that's what spared him from turning into dust. Because she said it. Um, the first one I said, she said, if you get if you get touched by the time uh, around, uh, you won't, we won't be able to get you back. So you'll, right, you'll right. go to another. Basically, you're going to go through a whole another another dimension. Right. And that leads to my other huge issue with this film. Michelle Pfeiffer, the Wasp, should not have aged. 
Preach. She came out of that Preach. realm and she was old. She should have came out that motherfucker young. Yeah. I said she better not come out of this quantum realm an old woman. You better use that anti-aging sheet on her because was, there's no time in there. They made that very very, very stern in the first one. one. You're out of time. So you don't age in that motherfucker. Yeah. So why is this old woman coming out this bitch? I was thinking the same shit. Time and, and that even, makes no sense at all. Even Michelle Pfeiffer said it. She was like, time doesn't, time ain't the same in here as time it is slows. out there. She said time, what, time slows down. And, yeah, yeah, but that they're, that they're, that's them trying to retcon yeah. part one a little bit, but no. Yeah. And no. Here's in the quantum realm, ain't no time. Yeah. Now, out of it. Now here's the, now here's the same thing. Then she then she turns around. Because first she says time ain't the same, right? It makes sense yeah. with the time because she didn't eat. She aged. You don't have to eat and drink. Yeah. You're not in time. Exactly. But here's this is where I'm going. Because first, Michelle Pfeiffer says time ain't the same, time works differently. But right. well, we know that there's no fucking time there in the first place. But okay. Right. You said time works differently. All right, whatever. Then you say. Why are you aging like a regular woman? Not then? even that. Not even that. Because we didn't even see her. Before she even, we even saw her, and she was possessing Scott, she says, I've been in here for 30 years. Bitch, how do you know that? <laughs> how do you know that? That don't make any sense. <laughs> More nonsensical shit. Uh, how do you know how long you've been, been in there? there? You should be more like, what time is it? What, 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 where am I? What is this? What, what, year? You've aged. what year is this? But the way she said it, the way it came out was so matter of fact. Well, I've been in here for 30 years, so I've had more than enough time to figure this shit out. There you what? Go. But even by so even by her own logic of explaining how time works differently, it doesn't. It works yeah, just like yeah, ours. Yeah, because that's the same. You just named the same eight. Thirty years. Yeah, it's thirty years for us too. It's thirty years for you. So now we have three ways that it works. It either there is there's either no time, different, time moves different, and or our time. Yeah. It's that type of shit that I don't like. It's 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 the lack of attention to the details. Yeah. That it's 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 just like they don't. They don't care about making a cohesive, sensical film. They care more about, is it funny? Is it entertaining? Is it Can we get families to come and watch it? Mm -hmm. Is it eye candy? Mm -hmm. That's the Marvel MCU formula, and I'm tired of it. Yeah, man. I, very frankly, I have been tired of it since Ragnarok. I'm sick of it. Yeah, Black Panther helped me out so much because that was a great film. But that's not enough. One film every five, four years, that, that's not enough for me to be like, hey, I'm going to watch this and love it. No, no. It's like, if you guys don't care to make a quality film, why the freak should I? Why should I just say, I know what some of you guys are saying, Jody, it's a comedy, turn your brand. No, it's not, that's the problem. Ant-Man is not a comedy. They made it a comedy. Ragnarok is not a comedy story. They made they it. They made it a comedy story. Yep. You turn the destruction of the gods themselves in Asgard, the damnation of a planet, into a comedy joke. And then, you turn Odin's death into a joke. None of it made sense. None of it mattered. It's worse than that because Ragnarok is something that all the Norse gods fear. Yep. They all yes. know. They all know that it. Yes. They all know that it. That it's it, their Armageddon. Yeah. They all know it's down the road. They don't know when the fuck it is. And they it fear. Is, it they, they. But they. And here's my problem with Ragnarok because they didn't execute it right. Because they. Ragnarok is not triggered. They made it where Ragnarok is triggered on on uh, Odin's death, which ain't true. No, Ragnarok, they made it where it was triggered off of uh, uh, those Odin's Hela, death. Right? Odin's Hela death. was released. No, no, no. Odin's, Odin's death, death bring hell. Yeah. Yeah. He was Hella and kickstarted Ragnarok. Because I thought Odin, Hella, okay, no, I thought Odin, when Odin was Odin was alive, his power was holding her back. When he died, that's when her his her, yeah. she, she was uh, able to uh, be free. Yeah, and, that's what she. And, yeah, and so his death kickstarted. Yeah, but yeah, the thing the thing about Ragnarok is that, and this is another problem with Thor because they didn't introduce all of the characters. They 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 never did uh, because it's not Odin's death that kicks off Ragnarok. It's actually the death of Thor's older brother that kicks off Ragnarok and they did this when they did the Ragnarok storyline in the Marvel comics they did it. They did that. They introduced him to his brother who can't be harmed. Balder, if you're a fan of God of, of the God of War game, that the recent one, you see this nigga that can't be harmed going head up with Kratos and his death triggers Ragnarok. Nice. Just in the game, just like it did in the original Thor comic when they did that fucking story on. Nice knowledge, bro. Good. So, I mean, yeah, that's right. I'm not into that whole god shit. I didn't even know that. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, because I, I, me personally, I'm a fan of mythology. 
So when I look at shit, and if you can get me interested in it, then I'm gonna go and check up on the shit. Like uh, I knew about Thor going going into the into the movie. I knew who the fuck he was. I knew what his R was. Yeah. Like even without me reading the fucking comic, because right. it's fucking Thor. It's Thor. You know. So yeah. this is the nigga that swings the hammer and falls down the light. And that's what I knew. Right. Right. So right? here we are back to Ant Man. Um, more more of the same. You know, you got the derpy baby mama who loves you now. The derpy baby boy, mama boy, husband who loves yeah. to hug you now. I'm like, okay. At first Liar, he hated him. At first he hated him. Yeah, but he disliked him. At least okay. Now he's like, oh hey, right. you, you saved my life. I love you. You're my brother now. My best friend. What shit is that? Let's let's go down the list of the rest of the supporting cast. Oh, you hug, let's hug, double hug, double R. hug. Let's Michael Excuse Pena me. and the the criminal gang. Yeah, Ti. Ti, the uh, Russian dude, the basically the the guy from the Dark Knight. He yeah. was the crazy guy. Yeah. Who threatened Rachel Dawes? Yeah, yeah sure did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, Michael Pena. Yeah. What do you think about them? Um, me personally, no needed. Just, just, just a waste. They, they me. were wasted. Just they weren't needed. Comic needed. relief. The way, yeah, the way that they used them, but they weren't funny. Yeah. He was a fast talking buffoon. And I like the way Michael Pena in the first film. I accepted him as that character, and I, uh, I kind of liked what they did with him in the mm -hmm. first film. It, it, if he was only okay. for, if only for narration, narration purposes. Like the, right. the, some of the shit and they did the same yeah, thing in this one. Some the, of the, the the real time shit that they did with him, like the security guard shit. Went back in the first and one. Like, yeah. yeah, I ain't I ain't care for that. But him with the narration purposes when he's telling the story from his mm -hmm. point of view, I enjoy that shit. Yeah, yeah. That, that, funny. that shit I, I I accept, but. The nigga wasn't needed in the rest of the film. Yeah, ne I agree. neither was Ti and that no. other nigga. Like, no. they just wanted to bring them back, give them a slot. Yeah, it, it's they weren't, like they weren't needed into this plot at all. In fact, they derailed the plot it, because what happened with uh, Scott Lang when they were at the climax of the of the story? What happened? He got a phone, phone call. call. Hey, the business guy, I need you to come. Yep. I can't. Well, just tell me where you are, and I'll come. And Give away our free. Yeah, give what an obvious, area. What what a obvious plot device yeah. to get Scott Lang away from them to make the bad guy know. Like, come on. Like, really? That's so corny. Yeah. And let me talk about how they insulted our intelligence again. And I believe this is a metaphorical jab at us. I believe that they're really just punching us in the throat because they are treating us like children. The corny Asian FBI agent. Oh my, when he, oh my when he filled in the little girl to fill us in. That wasn't him filling in the little girl. Was that was him telling us, us yeah. what's going on. And, and I the way that he delivered it. The way he did it. Hey, so basically your father did this in the Sokovia Accords in two years. That's why. That wasn't for that was for us. You know, I don't like when you expedite story that way and to the point where you're even telling a child. But it's really for us to fill us in because you're too lazy to make it actually blend within the story and for us to connect the dots ourselves. Right. I hate this lets you know this is a child's movie. This is a movie meant for families, and it's not a mentally stimulating film at all. Yeah. It's not that type of film. And we live are in a Marvel universe where this is not, this is not corny Guardians. This is Ant-Man. This is Scott Pym. The smartest man in the MCU should be. No, uh, the man who has Scott Lane. Lane. This is Scott, Scott Lane. Lane. Not Pym. You went wrong. Hank Pym. Hank Pym is, 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 smart, is the smart one. He's in this. He's in this film. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is a joke of a film. Hank Pym is in this movie. Okay. Yeah. He's one of the smartest people in the in the, in the Marvel universe. He's the he. The quantum realm is within this film. The quantum realm, which we thought was going to be a, a vital tool into saving the MCU, but it doesn't look that way to me personally. I believe they're mishandling a lot of meat on the bone and just throwing it in the trash. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And you know what? Because. I don't know if it, if I get the meaning wrong or whatever, but when I hear quantum, I think of time. So I'm thinking you're manipulating time. Time and space. Exactly. So this is me thinking, oh, and because me, they, me, I was figured, I figured they were going to survive because they could use the quantum realm to travel to. If they could figure out some way to manipulate the quantum realm to slide back through time. Like we got to avoid this shit. Some way, like, I figured this was going to be how that they. Brought back the dead Avengers toward the end of the, of the next movie or whatever. That's probably what's going on. Basically, basically yeah, they I, fucked I, it up. I, I, I don't, I don't see know. that happening because what we see. Think is, about the device that he had. You feel me? Mm. The device that he had that had the energy and everything that this, this from the yeah that. Was trapped in there with it. Right. That's gonna be a that's gonna be a plot also to bring them back. Guarantee that. Mark my words. That device that he got that that quantum energy. 
is going to be the device. That was used for healing, I believe. It's a it, healing it, healing injury. It was for the ghost girl. It, but, right. But I guarantee that energy that he got in his hand, it was the reason that he had it, even though we, we know it's supposed to be for the ghost girl, that energy that he got is going to end up bringing people, helping bringing people back. I don't think so. You know why? Because he's stuck in there, bro, and there's no way to get him out. I believe that is the plot device for Ant-Man not to be an Avengers 4. Exactly. Because when Avengers 4 pops off, he's going to be stuck in there, bro. Yep. And they're not going to get him out until Thanos is dead and they bring back everybody. Think so? Yes! Did you ever hear anything about him being on the set of Infinity War at any point? I heard Tessa Thompson being on the set, but I never heard about him. Well, I did. I did hear about Ant-Man being in, a, in, in Avengers the, in, 4. In Avengers 4? Yeah. He's in there, bro. I heard about him being in Avengers I 4. Saw, I saw. They, they, so, they show flicks yeah. of him in there. So they're going to have to get him out. Save the people who died first then. If the thing is, or they're going to use time with the time stone or something to go back in time before that happened or something. I, I, I don't know. I think he's gonna use that. Oh. He's gonna use that chip that he did the first time to get himself out to get him to get out that, no. get out that machine. Well, he's not. I, I'm just if, he, off. if he has it, no, he's not. He's Watch. Not. He's not getting himself out. Watch. Tony Stark's gonna get him out. Somebody gonna get him out. Tony Stark's gonna get him out. Then you know, he, he already it's knows. Tony, going it's out. Tony Stark that's gonna get him out. Yeah, because we know he shares scenes with him, Tony, and, and Cap. You know what? Because you know what it he is. Has a, a, a time watch. Yeah, well, whatever that yeah, is. Yeah, it's a time watch. Because you know what it is. Freaking uh. I just thought about it. They gave Tank, they gave Tony Stark something of everybody. He's already smarter than he should be. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Now they're gonna say, because remember he he already, he already said he, he already did quantum physics in in fucking uh, Avengers one. And then when he learned kid. everything in one night when he was a kid. And then basically, no, no, no. And when then he, he learned everything in one night for the Tatari portal. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And they basically said in the narration of this film, nanotech. This and all that. That's nothing. This is the future. Yeah. Quantum. 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 Exactly. They kept saying that. So so let's go back to the supporting characters. Michael Pena T I, the Russian dude, uh, the family. Let's talk about this this trash FBI agent. This oh. jokey farce of a character. What a trash goofball chief. You're the head of the FBI and all you're doing is cracking show me how jokes. Do show me how to do like that. yeah, that's not funny. Nothing you did was funny. He's in the way. Yeah. It freaked it, that guy, man. Every time, every time he came on screen, it, it's basically them killing time to me. It's like you're wasting here comes, time. Yeah. Here comes more wasted time. Super wasted space. This Super thing is space. not neat. And, and he was coming what, at the wrong yeah. time. What was the purpose of you showing this nigga sitting at his desk, trying to figure out the car, the car trick, trick that Scott yeah. was doing? What are you doing? I, I, you did, As a, is that a rhetorical question? Rhetorical. Okay, we know it's for laughs. Yeah, we know. Yes, but to keep you laughing, to keep you excited, to give you the false. Feeling, oh, this was a great movie because I was entertained and I laughed throughout. So there has to be a good movie, right? Wrong. No. That's how Infinity War tricked a lot of people. Yeah. Because lots of action never let you think about it. Just constantly hitting you with epic shit. It was a lot of. But it didn't have no foundation. It was a lot of shit. When he transformed into when, when the machine, the belt messed up on him mm -hmm. and he turned into a little kid. That was supposed to be. Ah! That was funny. It was, it was, it was, it was funny looking. But, but that's what they yeah. wanted. You right. Know, I was looking for that definitely, humor. Definitely. Definitely. It was looking uh, for humor. Um. They kept so using that. When he got it, when he got into when he when he went big and he cracked and he basically was big inside the um attic spec well the, yeah. the closet. That was supposed to be ah oh, you can't have it. Yeah. Every time people inside, were laughing, every time his size changed people like that, it. it was meant to be a physical joke. And, and, and people was laughing though, bro. Yeah, but it wasn't funny. We weren't laughing. I don't think it was funny at all. Yeah. It was like, funny oh. when he went to a little kid in the school running around yeah, with him. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I give it to that. That's yeah. the only part. Every time he went big and small, people were laughing and I wasn't. Maybe like, I'm just not and it was I'm, like I'm a, I'm a hard douche with no freaking sense of humor. And then, and but here's the thing though. Here's the thing. I'm like, and I was sitting there and I'm watching this. I'm like, why is he still using this suit? He know it's fucked up. Why is he still using this and he still got the old one? I'm like, you just want to got it. Right. Why that are you using sense. this? That makes more sense. Iron Man three. <laughs> why is it that you have all those suits, but the suit you get caught in is the freaking retrograde suit that's not complete? Yeah. yeah. To make it difficult for the protagonist to go throughout the story. Ah. That's what they do. Let's move on with the characters. We're not done. What about this? I love this actor. But he was a trash villain. Our, our businessman. Oh, that nigga was not needed. Trash. I, I was telling X-Files. Uh, he's he basically, he's the man who's he, he played in a few, a few he play, movies. He played in Sons of Anarchy. He was a transvestite yeah. in that. Okay. He also played in The Hateful Eight. Yeah, he yeah. He's talking politics. Yeah. Um. I he also uh, he a lot of movies, man. Uh, I was talking to X Files about this uh, when I was driving off earlier. And he, and he was a Django and Chain. He sure was. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you the same thing I told him. That nigga 
was not only he wasn't he, not, oh, he was, was he not awful. Hated, he was awful. But you know who he reminded me of every time I seen him? What? He reminded me of the of the henchman in Fast Five. The 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 the, the not the not the boss. The one that the kept, popping, the one that kept popping up and not get and always the roach. Type Everyone thing. was dying except him. Yeah. Yes. He reminded me of him so fucking much. I'm like, why is this thing again? They give him so much screen time and importance in the and they pop him up at the most opportune I, time to mess up stuff. Yeah. But he's not deserving I, of it. Yeah. You're whack. Uh, I don't want to see you, but they keep making me see you. you. Uh, the villain. Who's the villain in this? Him, right? He's the villain. Yeah, he's the villain. And then it's the Ghost. Ghost. Is, is, Ghost, that, Ghost, is Ghost, she Ghost, really the villain? Ghost is supposed to be considered the villain. But Ghost is, uh, but see, uh, I don't know. They, they switched it on you. At the, they yeah. It when they struck, when they when it tugged them emotional strings, and they gave you her backstory. When yeah. They, when it gave her you her backstory. She was just trying to survive. Well look, well, look, well, look. They did it like this on some bullshit from the trailers that we saw. They said in the trailer, which they didn't show, that they they took a lot. They changed the shit up. In the trailer, they said. Uh, she took your suit. He said, "I'm sorry about your suit." She took. She took your suit. That's what it said in the trailer. Then it became a totally different story. That 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 shield gave her the suit. They switched up a lot of shit on this because, in, like I said, in the trailer, she said, "He." Um, um, What's another Scott thing? said, "I'm sorry about your suit." She took your suit. She was telling Hank that. You sure? I'm positive. Yeah. And we're supposed to believe that S.H.I.E.L.D. had this weapon this whole time and we've never seen him. Yeah. We're talking about the Winter Soldier and all this when you had Ghost who could face or anything. She was, I mean, she, was, she was a perfect assassin. She said, they trained me to be the perfect assassin. Right. Yeah. An another thing I didn't like, when they were fighting in their fighting sequences, every time she would, the Wasp would blast at her, she would phase it. Yeah. And only get hit when it was an opportune time for her to get hit. Yeah. I remember there was a scene where it was time for her to get wrecked, and then she just stopped phasing. Yeah. And I'm like, but you're not supposed to be able to like. <laughs> she phased the things that she couldn't even see. Yeah. Like you're back at certain phasing, phase, 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 phase. She a laser shot. Wall. She's phasing laser shots, yeah, bro. Like, like everything she was phasing. Yeah. First, but, but the wasp has that same ability. She goes small and gets big. It's the same thing as phasing because you can't see her. Yeah. yeah. But the ghost, ghost was continually beating the shit out of her. But I'm like, wait, it's two on one, and now you just. I just didn't like how they you know, they they used that phasing as a crutch, bro. They they did. That phasing and, was such a crutch, and it felt like they didn't know how to use it too. Because first the phasing was supposed to be unstable; she's not supposed to be able to control it. She got and hit yeah. by the slow machine when Hank came out the particle out the quantum realm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. man got big move out the way, and she turns around. Oh, phase that shit! Yeah, in the back, yeah. phase that shit. That slow yeah. shit. With, with You're phasing lasers, which is where but I was you going. took this machine to your body, which like, is where I was going. Because free. It, at first it seemed like it was unstable, and then all of a sudden she could she could obviously control it because she was walking through walls and doing all that right. other shit, right? Speaking and, of walking, when Ant Man was running from her, she was just walking the whole time. Yeah. You could have ran and, and and wrecked this shit, but it was for the plot. No, we you know your your need audience. To stall. Yeah, yeah. So. they switched was, they switched some more shit up. The car that um that what's the name had the one that he told him to. To he took out for the hot uh, out the hot wheel box. Yeah. She was supposed to be ghost was supposed to be driving that car, not him. In the in the trailer they did that same oh, shit. I don't, know about trailer the trailer. Trailer. I don't remember any of those trailers. It me either. Trailer trickery. Yeah. You can't pay too much attention to the trailers yeah. that we've seen. Marvel with is known to re legitimately take stuff out of the trailers. Yeah. And make content just for the trailers. That's crazy. Do That's you what they do. do you not remember A the Voltron when James Spader's Ultron said there are no strangers on me? That shit was nowhere in the film. Right, right. right. The, the Avengers running up, du, du, du. that shit didn't happen. Exactly. In the yeah. So um, the good thing I liked, no, I love, I, I love Scott Lang, man. I still like him as Ant Man. He's a very likable guy. Dude is in shape. Yeah. I could, I noticed when I first saw, oh, he lost weight. He got slimmer. That's yeah. good. The little girl actress, she was good. I liked her. I liked the funny. Father, I liked the, funny. Father, the, the parent scene though. How he, you know, even though he couldn't go out. Yeah. Little thing. I, I love that. That, that, that part right there, yeah. that, that made that made me feel good. I love that. That. So he loved his daughter in the cardboard box. And he was like, "Do you realize how fucking hard it is to entertain a child yeah. when you're stuck in the house?" Yeah. <laughs> he didn't say the F word. We know that. Yeah, yeah. We know exactly yeah. what he was saying. Yeah. He's yeah. like, "Do you even realize the shit I've had? To do? I had to learn magic tricks." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He he was. He was really good at delivering the comedy. That's why yeah. they cast him. Yeah. You cast a comedian to play in a comedy film. Makes sense. And I like him. I love the Wasp. Yeah. I, I like her. I like there was there was no there was no SJW feel to it. Even though it was a woman yeah. and women but there was no SJW at the helm yeah. of it. Like she was definitely better than him and he was not needed for the most part. 
the wasp had everything down when it came to combat smarts everything really Germany. and then you had ghost who was another female villain so you could say it was but it didn't feel like it no it didn't and because it didn't feel preachy it didn't feel like sjw all it is are just fail females in a uh, it, as leads in a film, and I don't believe it was at the expense of of that man. No, I they, believe he was able to get in where he fits. They still give him his credit. Yeah, I think it was just fine. Was like, oh, excuse me. And he's Ant, he's Ant Man. Like you're Ant Man, even though they was tripping about the suit. He's yeah. Ant Man. She gave him the credit. He said, "You be his partner, not he be her partner." Yeah. You're gonna be my partner. Basically, you're gonna be my sidekick. Not I'm gonna be your sidekick. Yeah. yeah. And but but what got? Because you know I. Uh, the the difference between because the difference between them is the same thing I've known since the first movie. Once she got her suit, she was gonna outshine him, and it's it's only for one reason. And it's not because she's a woman; it's because she was trained and he wasn't. When she was training him in the first movie, I said as soon as Mama, as soon as she gets gets in a suit, she's automatic automatically better than you. And if she's not, something's wrong. That was my that was my thing because she was trained. It's like it's like it would be like. Nigga, you train you being trained by Bruce Wayne, but then you being better than him. It don't make no fucking sense. Right. Like it happens so. <laughs> yeah, but it don't Especially make Especially in Star Wars. Yeah. yeah. Padawans always usurp the masters. <laughs> it's crazy, cause like But not in two years. <laughs> we know Sometimes she less. We know we know Hank. Obi Wan was better than Qui Gon, I guess you could say in episode one already. Qui Gon was old. We know Hank hey, Bill, man. We know, yeah, it's not getting old, it's getting better, my brother. Qui Gon was over 60. He was better. Qui Gon was over 60. Hey, man, he you was slowing the down. Older the he was up there in his age. He was slowing down. Yeah, that nigga. Qui Gon would have handed that nigga his shit. Are if you he was sure? Young. Are you sure? Because that nigga Obi Wan Kenobi was an old man and beat Vader again. <laughs> beat him twice. He did. Beat the younger nigga <laughs> twice. <laughs> what talking about? Beat him as a boy and beat him as a robot. But as a robot, Vader really couldn't move. I saw that nigga Yoda handing Dooku some shit. Yeah. Dooku was running like a mother. I don't know. I'm oh, trying to get Star Wars in credit to you. Oh, no. You like running. the tumble right now. Hey, hey, get that out of here. Hey. No. Hey. No, no, no. That nigga, <laughs> hey, Sidious was wrecking Luke. I mean, what? Yeah. Yeah. Wrecking the nigga shit. Yeah, yeah. Hey. bitch. She was getting older and better, bro. So, yeah, but uh, yeah. to this, she, you could tell, like, at, okay, when we left off on the, on the first one, we saw Hank finally giving her the suit, so showing her about the suit being complete. Wasn't complete yet, but he was like, "I, I gotta, I'm gonna, you're gonna do basically going to battle." You know what I mean? So that means like the whole time when Scott was going, she was being trained more compared to him learning more techniques, learning more shit. You notice when she shrunk, she knew a lot of shit to do compared to being her first time. She's done this like she's been doing this for a while. Like she was doing it like she was a pro. Compared to, like, you already know she has martial arts training. But when she shrunk as an ant, she knew exactly what the fuck to do. Yeah. That quick, she knew exactly what to do. How was that? Well, that mean that, that mean that basically, when Scott left with Captain America, she was still being trained. Well, yeah. They she already that. knew. Are we talking about, we're, we're talking, talking about the wasp. Yeah. yeah. She knew how to do that in at one. Yeah. And then. She was teaching him how to do it in that Yeah. Man. And then if you remember in this, in this very same movie, she said, we were training together. We were already partners. You left me and went to help Captain America. Yeah. Like, you bailed on me. Yeah. They were already training together. She, she was already the wasp by that point. She said, if you would have took me with you, you never would have got yeah, caught. Yeah, you wouldn't have got caught. Oh, no, I would have got caught. <laughs> I mean, I so if, if you, if, and, cause, and I remember, because she was already knew what the fuck she was doing, because she was like, it should be me in the suit. She said that shit in the first movie. It should be me in the suit. I already know what the fuck to do. We don't we wasting time training this nigga when I already know what to do. And I I got the skill to do it, the ability and the yeah. know how. Cause remember, she was teaching me. She wanna do you wanna run and you wanna shrink at the at this moment so you can flip fit through this. I know she knew the technology. Right, let's let's, let's move, move on. on. Ghost. I what like her. What do you like her? I liked her uh I like the character for Ghost. Mm -hmm. Uh the actress, easy on the eyes. Uh no booty though, but um, no booty, no booty. Uh, <laughs> they kept showing it too. Yeah, for no reason. Yeah, like, no, it was for <laughs> reason. Yeah, yeah. No booty. Yeah, but it yeah. was you know, and I enjoyed her character, but it was like some shit uh, took away from her. Like they would, they would do some shit, and then right, like while she's doing this shit and trying to, and you looking at her like, yeah, she's. This is that villain that this is going to be another villain, or she's 
actually kind of menacing or whatever, then once they flipped it and made you try to sympathize with her, so she's not really a bad guy, she's just trying to survive, it, I was cool with that. Um, so overall, I liked her, but it just felt like uh, the way that they used her power-wise, like you said earlier, it just didn't make any sense at certain points. Because you was doing all of this at one point, and then you just got hit. It basically just seemed like she got hit whenever the fuck she felt like it, or when the plot needed her to. So it was just, you know, it, for the most part, I I enjoyed her character. I just didn't like a lot of her utilize, not a lot, but I didn't like some of her utilization. Okay, what about you? For me, what I got from Ghost at first, like you know, I, I when they showed the part of her little girl, you know, I'm like, okay, I, I still have sympathetic to this. You know, what I'm saying she really wanted to be there with her father you know after after Hank Penn you know basically did credit all his shit and you know but the thing is it's like her mom told her like you know T told her to go you know she wanted to go alone no I want to go with that and she's mad as hell about what happened but basically low-key even though you was a child it was your fault what happened to you so you blaming saying Hank Penn but it was you your father told you, your parents told you to go and you she ran in. Kid, yeah, but she 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 still blamed them. Then she like, well, um, you know, Shield said they were gonna help me, you know, become one, be better. But basically, what I got from her after a while, when she got older, is she became a sociopath. She didn't give a damn no more. She wanted to kill. She was she said she killed several times, so she's starting to love that shit. She started she started to enjoy killing. Did she say that? Is that a bad thing? I mean, for a, for a villainous type she, of she, anti-hero, she, she was she was a villain. She basically didn't give a fuck. She was gonna hurt Scott's daughter. Yeah. Until he told her, no, if you touch that little girl, we're done. She well, was she gonna was hurt gonna, that little she was girl. Kidnap her. Yeah. She was gonna hurt that little girl. Because here's the thing. This is the thing with Ghost, right? And this is where I gotta go against you with her, uh, because it it did, it seemed like she was more like Black Widow in the sense that she was about her mission. And she was going to accomplish her mission, which in this case was her survival. It didn't matter what you put in front of her, she was going to accomplish it. Now, I don't believe I heard her ever say that she enjoyed doing what she did. She's like, they used me, they told me they, that they were going to cure me, help me find a cure for this shit that's affecting me, that's killing me, and they just wanted me to do this for them in return. And, and you know, that's equal, equal exchange. What did she say when, she, when, when he she, told her, when he said, when he said no? Um, she can help you or whatever. She said, if she died, so be it. She didn't give a damn. Okay. She didn't care about none of that. Oh, but she that, didn't care about if she lived or, uh, live or die. No, she didn't. Because her plan from the jump was the drainer of the energy. That was like, she was like, because, you know, we didn't know we didn't know if she could survive, if, if there was any other way to fix her. She's like, look, I'm dying now. She said, she's like, my body is falling apart. She said, it could, it's, so, her, it's her or me. Basically, she basically said, I'm sacrificing her for myself. Yeah. I, I can't stand this pain no more. Yeah. Compared to what he said, he said we could find another way. She didn't care about that other way. She said there was no time. Even Hank, even, 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 even he said, I'll help you find a way to help her. Let me get my wife and I will help you find a way. That's what he was explaining to her. She didn't give a damn about that Hank shit. Hank didn't tell her that. He, well, and she probably wouldn't have cared anyway. She didn't care about any of that stuff. She All she wanted was, all she thought about was herself. She basically didn't care who she hurt, who she killed. Who anything? She just wanted herself. She went, did everything for her. It wasn't about helping her out. Okay, I understand. Let me do this. Nah, she didn't care. If a little kid was walking past, she was, and say a bus was coming, she was about to say that little kid. If that 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 equipment that she wanted, she would let that kid get hit for that equipment. She didn't give a fuck. She didn't care about nothing. She didn't care who died or who lived. All she cared about was herself. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, once again, and so villain. So she, she was a sociopath, straight up. She, she, the, the, she literally knocked out the wasp, stole what what they're trying to do. She knew what they were doing. She knew that they were they were building it to save um, um, the oh, first wasp. You know what I mean? Yeah. She didn't give a fuck about that. She, all she was worried about. Like she could have been more like, okay, well, when they had Hank, I need you. I need your help. You're the smartest. So the, okay, I need what's in your head. You're the smartest. I need you to help. I need for you to help me. Okay. Nah. Yeah. For me, for uh, I believe that Ghost was fine. She wasn't great. She was. She was decent. Mm -hmm. um, her backstory was okay. I bought that. And uh, she was. She needed guidance. And I. I see her being in the MCU again, but as a hero. 
uh, under Goliath, under the Lord Fishburne's uh, watchful eye, and I under the that. Wasp. I love. I like Michelle Pfeiffer's character, the Wasp. Mm -hmm. Very motherly and, and loving and knowledgeable. Now she has power. Mentor. Yeah. So a mentor to her, to Ghost. I could see her coming back and being a part of the Ant Man team. Mm -hmm. Wasp, Ghost, Ant Man. So I liked her. So Ghost. Uh, mature Wasp, Young Wasp, both Ant-Man are the only characters that I'm okay with. Everybody else was, Lawrence Fishburne was in the middle, mediocre. Everyone else, just, every supporting character besides it, were just in the way. Yeah. Just in the way. Um, but as far as, uh, I will say this in response to, as far as Ghost is concerned, because I will say, when you're, if you're a soldier on a mission, Nothing else matters but the completion of that mission. It don't matter. It don't matter. If fucking people are shooting at kids. If your mission is to be on this side, you should be on this side. Fuck the rest of them people until you get to the completion of that mission. Nothing else matters, and that's the soldiers. And that should be the soldier standpoint. I think she was working for like remember Hydra had Shield, so she was working for Hydra on this, this low key. Most likely, yeah. Yeah, she was killing. She probably was killing Shield agents, real Shield agents for Hydra, not knowing that. You know what I mean? But yeah, she, like I said, she she was a sociopath, bro. So, That's anything what, else you want to say about this film? Uh, the skateboarding. When, the truck. That shit didn't make oh. no fucking sense. Oh, him pushing the... Yeah, the but that shit was it, was it was clever for fun, for laughs, but when you think about it, it's like, how are you turning it? Yeah. <laughs> are you putting your finger through there and turning the steering wheel? Because we know that's hard to do. Yeah. yeah. He's literally, yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. That doesn't make no sense. He, right, it don't. It's, um, it's just eye candy stuff. Yeah, it's eye candy, yeah. but you know what? It, because I saw that shit in the trailer, I wasn't really tripping about that shit. And then to it, think about it, every time you shrunk that big building and shook it up, all, all those the electronics, shit. all that shit should have been mo. It's what all was in those place. Ants those ants should have fell out too. It's all in place. <laughs> should have broke. And it should have been, been dead ants in there. It was got thrown all over in the truck, in the thing, through the ocean, and they picking it. That thing should have been cluttered everywhere, but it was all in place when you make a big, you know, shouldn't it have, shouldn't it have, I don't know. That's just where I'm at with it, man. Yeah. That course. thing should have been heavy. Yeah. That building should have been really heavy. Not as heavy as a building, but all of those little things in there, a little metal piece, that should have, that should have been like a stone, well, a big rock. Yeah, because you know what? In the first Ant-Man, they established that even though he get, when he shrinks, even though they were like, yeah, you shrink, you mass. shrink, but you your mass stronger. compresses. That's yeah. why you get. That's why your strength increases. Yeah, but here they are throwing this building around like it's made of styrofoam. Yeah, you know they what catch. I'm saying? They yeah, catch. I was like, eh. I, I, so hey, I, I forgot about that. Yeah, the part that was tight to me was a car. Was a car scene when they were shrinking the car down, doing that shit. That shit was tight. Yeah, little, little matchback cars and all that, and then she making it real. It, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was pleasurable to see, but it's been done before. Yeah, like the first Ant Man took away so much steam from this one. Yeah, that's true. They didn't innovate enough with this one. They could have did more. It's a giant man. We go small. We go big. I yeah. make that big. I make that small. Yeah. It's cool to see, but it's not new. And like the problem, different. the problem with Giant Man was they fucked up Giant Man because they put Giant Man in Civil War. If he, if they would have saved Giant Man for, for Ant Man Two. Then at least it would have been something to look forward to. Right, right. But they right. used him in Civil War. Right. So well, he did get bigger in this one. He got eighty-five feet tall. Yeah, which but, is but it was bigger. Feet. Yeah, but bigger than what but, he was. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. the problem, but the problem with that is, yeah, he, they say he got eighty-five feet, but he was in the fucking ocean. So we well, didn't visually see yeah. it. He was large. He was large. He was way bigger than he was in Civil War. Yeah, he was. But yeah. at, the, at the end of the day. Nigga, once you see the nigga grow, you see the nigga grow. Exactly. He was, he was, exactly. It was literally once walking. you get big, you got you done got, you got big. big. Yeah. You, so the no longer a huge hit. Yeah. So the so, so the surprise factor, the whoa, that shit was already that huge. factor was yeah gone. <laughs> Not that much in this film at all. So that's why we gave it our grades. If you want to know our grades, please go check out the spoiler-free review. Our grades are there. Um, just another Marvel formulaic film. Yeah. It's just another one. I another one that Marvel put, puts out. Another one of those. Kitty, lighthearted, jokey joke films that Marvel knows to do. It's crazy. And I, I, cause Looking I, forward to Captain Marvel. It's going to be the same way. I, I feel that this film could have been better if they would have done it differently. Yeah, but of they course. Just, they, yeah. they rehashed the, the same formula. I knew that they, was going to happen. It, uh, it, yeah. It, 
we need to be in these fucking meetings. I need to be slapping people. It was at the point where HTD was like, fuck, man, I'm yeah. tired of this shit. Oh, he Dude. said it? Yeah. I ain't, damn, I'm like, bro, but I would have sat next to him this should've time. You should have known that she was yeah. coming, bro. Like, Because at this point, if, I, I honestly do believe. Even if, if he cracks a joke, if they do a joke in this scene right now, I'm done. And sure enough, oh, yeah, I'm fine, everybody. Don't worry about me. Ha, ha, ha. Fuck. Like, he was like, hey, bro. Yeah, like, at this point, it, it's past the point where, at this point, it's not the point where, when niggas is reading this script, niggas need, in, in, in meetings, these board meetings, and they talk about this shit, niggas need to start being smacked. Because niggas ain't getting checked, and stupid shit is flying under the radar. read the script completely. Way too they're not reading the script right. It, it's not that. It's not that they're reading, that they're re not reading it. Because I believe that I believe that they actually are. It's just that they don't give a fuck. Yeah. Like they found a formula that works, Savage. They're not trying to do that. At this so long point, as these movies make money, yeah. they're not going to change they, nothing. It's, and not only that, it's because fuck. I don't want to say this shit. Say it. Say uh, it. Ah, I don't want to say this shit, but it's because they ain't got no fucking competition. Nigga, it Marvel, Marvel Disney is the WWE right now. There ain't no WCW out there. Ain't, there ain't nothing they can beat against. Well, w, uh, was it ain't, ECW? Ain't no ECW, ain't, ain't no, no WCW. TNT. Yeah, exactly. It's, it, this is all there is. Yeah, ain't no ECW. And, they, and now, because this is all there is, they can dial it back on the shit that made you watch it in the first place and do whatever the fuck that they want and, not, and don't have to put too much thought into it. And there we go. I'll see you guys for the next funny Marvel movie. Captain Marvel? Captain Marvel. Marvel. Captain Marvel. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Jody Joe. It's Green Arrow and Savage. We are three parts of the Just, Just Us League. And we have to stay, man. Deuces. Deuces. Told you that we leave it. I need some weed, man. <laughs>